Hey, I'm Patrick Cristiano <laughs> at the Drama League Awards, uh, the annual luncheon. I'm in Sweeney Todd. Yeah. I'm, I replaced the uh, the young man who was uh, the original ah, Sweeney, okay. the British cast. And uh, Carolee and myself came in and, and uh, filled in for, for those people. that. Oh. The reason why I am here is because now I'm on the board of the Drama League. Oh. And it's been a wonderful experience. We just started, I just started, I should say, last September. And it's been fun getting to know all the different programs that they offer and the support that the Drama League uh, has been doing for so many years and actually celebrating 100 years now. I'm with Jano, the president of the Drama League. Thank Congratulations you. on this wonderful event. Thank you They're, so much. It's my favorite event of the whole season. Mine too. <laughs> I love it. I really do. We do some other wonderful things, but to me this is, this is the culmination of a Broadway for me and I love it. I go pretty much almost every night towards the last bit of the season which is like eight shows a week <laughs> now that even they do them on Mondays as well. Uh, I love it and uh, the process is very fair. Uh, we go through a voting process uh, even though some of us might have people that we thought if they don't make the cut we don't do it. So it's really a very fair kind of process I think. Is Beth going to join us today? Is who? Beth. But, but, uh, I hope so. She hasn't confirmed, or she? Um, I didn't ask this morning. I, you know, I saw her last night at the oh. theater. So uh, me and Hugh Jackman, we were all sitting together oh in the God, audience, which is kind of fun. Um, as far as I know, yes, of course she'll be here because she is. She's one of the honorees. Um, Michael Greif, of course, will be here, and I have a personal favorite, and that is uh, Bill Berloni, because I think what he does with the animals is just. It is. It, it's the unique contribution to the theater, and that's what he's getting, and that's what he deserves. So I'm with Caroline O'Connor, who is nominated for Distinguished, Distinguished Performance for Anastasia, and she is terrific. Thank you. She's a standout. <laughs> wow, thanks so much. I'm so glad I came. No, it, no it, <laughs> Coming on, in a year like this has been so exciting for me, because also during rehearsals and previews, I've been able to see so many other brilliant <laughs> shows. It's inspiring, you know, I, grew, I live in England and I live in Australia and I work and live here too, so I get the best of, of everywhere and this year has been thrilling on Broadway. Well, you are terrific. Thank it, you. The cast is wonderful. Oh my goodness, yeah. And we're so happy. <laughs> it's so nice to be in a show where the cast is really, really happy. This uh, show has a lot of depth to it, and I think Terence is, the, you know, he's the master of being able to combine those things, and, and so yes, um, we've all been very moved by it. You know, I think the audience is, as much fun as they're having, they're also very moved by the story. So and it's also visually stunning at the same time. It really is, and, and like you say, the cast, I just think it's beautifully cast, you know, it really is, and um, I get to work with John Bolton every night, which is so much fun and <laughs> hilarious, of course, but yeah, to create a new role on Broadway and a brand new musical, uh -huh. just so exciting. Uh, I'm loving every minute. With Otto Blinks and Wood, he's a distinguished nominee for the total the total You know, the show uh, took place in uh, a fictional place called Montgomery, Alabama. Get out! Um, Are you serious? Yes, I mean not so fictional, but it was referential. You know, um, after the bus boycott. Oh, uh, okay. And I'm yeah. Are you really? <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, this took place during the, the bus boycotts right after that. And it's about a father-son songwriting. Uh, 1965? I want to say 65. Um, right? It was right after the bus boycotts. I want to say 65. Could be wrong. Don't quote me. Or do. Um, but uh, it, it was a father-son songwriting duo. And sort of about the struggle of the son to step into the spotlight and the father is trying to keep him sort of in the in the shadows. It's about the son stepping in the spotlight and what the spotlight does and what ego does. And Laura Osnes is nominated for Distinguished Performance for Bandstand, Bandstand yes. which we saw, you're terrific, you oh, are gorgeous. Goodness. Thank you, oh, you wow. I think this is one of the most, if not the most fulfilling role and show that I've really gotten to be a part of. I I did the first reading of Bandstand three and a half years ago, oh, so wow. I've been cultivating this baby for a long time, and to see it now through to Broadway and getting to perform it every night, a brand new original role in a brand new original musical that's not based on a book or movie or anything, I'm I'm getting to create Julia Trojan, and it's it's unbelievable. 
Well, I'm with Kate Burton, who was nominated for Distinguished Performance for her role in Pleasant Laughter with Kevin Klein, and she's wonderful. Thank you. It's a really good role for you, too. Thank you. I love playing Liz Essentine. She's so much fun. Yeah. And how is it playing with Kevin? Kevin. He is just a dream. He's a national treasure. And uh, honestly, I had no concept of what it would be like to play with him, but... Um, because I had only done a film with him long ago, The Ice Storm. One oh, great, wow. Actually, with Allison and John Hickey. We were all in the movie. Oh, how cool. Um, so it was just revelatory to work with him in a play. He is truly a master class in acting and in comic acting. And uh, I just love him. I have with Cynthia Nixon, who's nominated for... Um, the Little Foxes. Foxes. Do you have a role you prefer when you're doing both no, of these? No, we, Blore and I both love getting to do both of them. Okay, because I have people that called me and said you were revelatory as Birdie. Thank they you. They said they, you broke their heart. Thank you, thank you. I mean, she's a, she's an amazing, she's an amazing part, and I think it's about a lot of people who are in a lot of pain, and they're all walking around, uh, bargaining with each other, and not knowing they're in pain, and Birdie embodies all of their sorrow for them. I'm with Nora Shell from Spamilton, who's nominated for Distinguished Award, Outstanding Achievement and for Performance here at the Drama League Awards. I just cannot believe the names that I'm up next to. These are the people that I was studying in school, and my mom's actually here for this event, so oh. she is super excited. She's like standing outside, just like, can I come in? Can I do this? <laughs> is this your first Drama League nomination? Yes, yeah. I graduated from the University of Michigan a year ago, so I'm 22, so this is my first year in New York, so to get Oh my God. A nomination for my first role is absurd. <laughs> From Bill Baroni, unique contribution to the theater. Sure. Congratulations on your honor. Thank so, you. getting John on the dog had nothing to do with it. No I'm playing. <laughs> but you know, I, all the dogs I've trained for the last forty years have been rescue dogs, and oh, when wow. I can get people in the business, animals of their own, um, it's just a, a wonderful sideline to be able to do. Uh, currently, uh, my family and I own thirty-one dogs, all performers, retired performers, unemployed performers, um, and we have a staff, and we live up in Central Connecticut, and it's a great life.